Enough for today? Don't be a stranger. Feeling a little troubled, but good day, all the same. Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. What have you got for me? Until next time. Eivor. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Juvina and Jorth's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. It, men, life in the rough, in the company of friends, sitting beside a carefree river. I am here for the mead, Lord Boy. I just adore the laughter of the water, the spice of mead in the nose, the spittle of shouting Danes. Norse, you troll what? Norse, yes, forgive me. Norse. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. 
make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scold, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You're talking with her now. And you are? Ah, oh, by God's blood! My day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family, that is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. If I knew my father was ill and beyond saving, I would ready myself to take his place. Will you take up his burden, should he fall? Oh. Banish the thought that such a great man should perish. But if he were to pass... Yes. Yes, I believe I could. I must. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the rune. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Thinks himself a real wonder, slouching with the common folk. Pence. Ah, leave him be. If a man was to drink in the dirt, let him. So 
this is Gunvald's safe haven. Don't we be a mercy in Shire today? Tomorrow, the kingdom of Lindsay will rise again, as free as the wind on the back of my neck. Your line of kings died long ago, Gunvald. We're in Lincolnshire now. Do you need a map to remember? Alfgar, my dear man. I do not need a map to prove what my bones know for truth. Hunwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, your father is ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan? Or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend! I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight! Listen, I have come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes! To Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here she'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like... Watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. You'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions, I'd warn that stupid boy. I'd be the most written about man in history. Alvgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told him all to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Was in trouble. Leave him be! Jesus! He brought a bloody Dane! Oh! I have been struck down! Oh. An inch of my life! But I will survive! I must! Continue as you would, Avon! The silver and if I inspire, avenge me! God's justice await! Yes! 
say? Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottlestone will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Hoonwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? <laughs> What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to scream. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Horse pucky. Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never! No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane, lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln. The city of my birth. The battle they see me, this will get messy. Lower the mark! Shit! Lay on! Remember at us! Mercy. Everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow. What is this promise? Who are you? What? You chose death! Is your home? It was, and she escaped. Just sit down, close my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. Silver to buy pink from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. Hunwald, praise God you live. I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers or men of God? There were men with swords. And those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye, 
There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan had? My family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but... There's none to draw attention here. and unwanted. Fear not, Lady. I shall make you mine again. Come, brothers. Let's end this. Be my eyes. Returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunward, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north. Bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin, 
I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That's all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald's seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Kunwal's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care.
clean. All valuables taken. No effort to cover the tracks. And at work, no doubt. These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? should not be seen in this area. What? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fear so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead. <sighs> Fresh air.
me. Help! What happened? Were you bit? Oh, yes. Snake bit. Just like you. Attack! Brothers and sisters in turn, the very sword of this sacred land. No more. Can't just scamper away from me. is well protected. prepared. 
Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often, they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Hunwald. You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Why has your elderman's death been obscured? The people of Lincolnshire deserve to know his fate. Hunwald, above all. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Foul rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within the room. There, you may lay beside your forebearers, the great and glorious kings of old Lindsay. Please, do not desecrate our lord. I am Dane. Not a cruel grief monger. I do not know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes. To it. We should. You're looking to set foot in there. I would not advise it. In my youth, I could. Both of us could. We would not think twice about taking back what is ours. You lived here. It was a fishing village once. Built it with our bare hands, all of it. But bandits drove us out the moment they saw how plentiful the waters were. The fish here are not shy, and they are difficult to sate. You make it hard to resist. I may have to see for myself. It will not be easy. Why not take my wife with you? Stickler would love to raise hell against these dogs. What would it serve? 
Only a matter of time before more roving bandits catch a whiff of this place. We know. Such is the case in all of Lincolnshire. But it would be a small victory. A chance to dip our feet for a while. All right. I'll take her. Always good to rekindle the flame. On me, Stigler. You will wet your blade with their bones. Thank you. 
That is all of them. Skeki will be thrilled. Let us go to him. Work of those bastards. Stickla is a stout fighter. Worthy enough to raid with the best Rengir. It may be what she's destined for. You honor her. And believe me, I have tried. But she is stubborn. Insists on looking after this old and frail hound. When you die, have her seek me out. <laughs> you jest, but I shall take you up on it. Until then. <laughs> 